on that note, I'm going to introduce our next one, Eric Erwitt. Come on up, Eric. Use the mic. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Five million homes were sold around the U.S. in 2014. So five million, that's a median sale price of $200,000. This is, this is a major uh, investment for most people in their lives. And on top of that, they rely on what I consider to be outdated utilities. So I'm Eric Irwitt. I'm a self-taught software engineer from Berkeley, California. So I grew up in a family of photographers. Hopefully photographers would recognize my last name as a well-known photographer. Uh, and photographers really understand the value of a photo. So for me, when I took on this challenge, that's the first thing I did was I pulled down these 18,000. Hold the mic 000, up. Hold the mic up. Keep sorry, it up. Sorry. I'm yeah. Do it. This time. I pulled down these 18,000 images from Zillow.com. Uh, technically, there's only 8,000 displayed here. But there are 18,000, all they used as part of my training set. So what I really focused on to begin with, because I was working with so many images, was uh, building kind of a support system to go through this. Uh, the first week while I was trying to even get this to work, Zillow's API was down. So I had to reverse engineer a lot of their JavaScript website just to even get the information that I needed. So that's, this is probably my most proud part, was the support tool I built for myself. So it did a lot of web scraping, as well as going through the visualization, not just for the analysis of stuff I was pulling in, but also analysis of the convolutional neural networks training and how things were going. So it was a really fun tool. I did use anybody that knows icons of AWS. Those are the UML icons for AWS. But I did remove Mechanical Turk and uh, built my own system for that, just for speed. So challenges, like I mentioned, broken APIs, lots of spam, lots of just junk. Uh, one issue that was kind of obvious to most people I talked to, but uh, I totally didn't imagine, was uh, this violin plot here, which is the price of the listings in the Bay Area. Now, I'm from the Bay Area, so that was why I was using it as my training set. Uh, that was a mistake on my part, because the median sale price there is right around 900,000 US dollars. Whereas around the US, it's 200,000 USD as the median sale price. So that gave me a lot of issues. Uh, I overcame those issues in training by just reducing what I was training to. So the next thing I did was just set up kind of buckets to get some sort of a normal distribution to human numbers, where things lower in the distribution were uh, like 600, 700 and split up by 100,000. So I can estimate within $100,000 for the accuracy. And then. So that's why I trained. So this image, or this chart, uh, details the accuracy of my initial training, which I uh, didn't take into account any metadata about the image besides the price and what the image looked like going through the convolutional neural network training. That led me to realize that there are a lot of very different styles there. Uh, the pooling layer I used didn't work well with this, these sets of uh, different images. So then I built my own training set that then took into account what the, ac what the different style is. So this is my uh, training accuracy on the different styles. So I could accurately say something is a exterior view of a house, a scenic view, interior, which was great. But then I retrained things. Uh, the exterior view didn't change too much, but the interior view showed the most promise. And it was very interesting to me. So I researched that more and more. And there are many reasons why this did better. But one of the most important was that there are just more images of housing interiors. People posted a lot more of those than anything else. So the impact for me is reducing friction. It's a pain in the ass to buy a home. Uh, it really could be improved. So I'm Eric Irwitt. There's my GitHub. I'll post everything up there eventually as I get time. All right. Thank you very much.